Hello. So now we go to Prefi. Yay, Prefi na kita. And I just like to give an a short uh intro on neurodevelopmental disorders. So when we talk about neurodevelopmental disorders, we are essentially looking at a set of symptoms uh na nag-start siya during early childhood development. So usually before formal schooling. And formal schooling is uh basically grade 1. Okay? So ang usually ang onset niya would be from infancy up to mga 5 5 or 6 years of age dera dera. But usually ini nga mga mga conditions mas nadadiagnose sila when the child is schooling na because nakikita na ang difficulties sa mga academic tasks that the child is supposed to perform. Okay, so it's characterized by developmental deficits. So developmental deficits meaning ang mga things that the child uh, is supposed to learn as the child grows, uh, n- wala niya na learn Okay, so, pwede nga may delay or pwede nga wala kaya at all na i-exhibit sang bata ang particular nga developmental milestone or developmental skill. And ina siya because of those deficits, nagkakaroon sang problem in the personal, social, academic, or occupational functioning of the child. Okay? So, ano ini sila? What are these neurodevelopmental disorders? You have your intellectual disability. Uh, so, you have intellectual disability from the dsm for tr which is now termed intellectual developmental disorder. And then you have global developmental delay and specified intellectual disability. Then you have the pervasive, another pervasive disorder, autism spectrum disorder. And then another is attention deficit hyperactivity disorder. Next is you have uh, three more categories. The first one are your communication disorders. Okay, so they have something to do with uh, speech, the use of language, and there are four. Okay, so these are the four. And then you have your specific learning disorder with three very specific uh, disorders. Some are probably familiar, dyslexia, and then you have dysgraphia and dyscalculia. Then you have, you also have three uh, motor disorders, okay? But the emphasis, if you notice na ahead of time, it's going to be on intellectual developmental disorder, autism spectrum disorder, and attention deficit hyperactivity disorder. But since uh, these cate- other categories are also included in the DSM-5, we will touch them very briefly, okay? So, just a few terms to get us started. One is mental ability. So, when we talk about mental ability, we're talking about functions such as your ability to learn, uh, use your memory, the different stages, and being able to retrieve information from your memory, reasoning among other things. So, it will be detailed later when we talk about the diagnostic criteria of specific na disorders. Next would be adaptive functioning. So when we talk about adaptive functioning, these are activities of daily living. So it's your day-to-day na function such as doing chores and other home-based tasks, uh, maintaining your own health, diba? such as feeding yourself, uh, uh, taking a bath, okay, toilet, the uh, toilet training and then you know toilet activities and then hygiene activities uh, also included in adaptive functioning would be socialization skills such as you know knowing how to relate to and deal with other people diba? and then especially with children uh, behaviors during play like do they know how to take turns with other kids do they know how to share toys with other kids and then of course you also have communication which is receptive so meaning uh, can they comprehend what is said to them expressive 
can they communicate can they use words and uh, facial expressions to actually convey information and meaning uh, to other people and then of course you have written communication as well okay? so that's adaptive functioning and then when you say developmental period you're talking about the chronological age of the client which should be below 18 years of age so that's the developmental period so basically a child okay? 